robots and AI will eventually take over the manufacturing, delivery, design, and marketing of most goods in the future. While AI service robots will do almost all the household chores we will ever need them to do and even at an affordable cost. While those that can afford the price tag of any future robots, of course, I'm talking about when robots will walk among us, fully autonomous, building relationships with us. And yes, this is something we will want. Besides the fact these robots will be the perfect companions with perfect boobs on female robots and conversation, further, these robots will become self-replacing, self-repairing, and even partially self-designing. So surely artificial intelligence and computation will not be cheap. If you look at what's on the market today in terms of robot love dolls like Harmony who can do anything and everything except walk or move however, but she can talk, respond and learn as well as moan like a real orgasm they say during intercourse. I know, I know, that sounds gross, but that package in a robot like Harmony will cost around $10,000. Then when you think of robots like Xiaomi Cyber One, who is autonomous and can walk, that will run you a price tag of around $80,000. But if you think that's a steep price tag, how about putting an Atlas robot from Boston Dynamics on your shopping list? with a price tag of around 150,000 US dollars. Now, certainly, if you knew nothing about autonomous humanoid robots, then for $150,000, this robot must be covered in gold, rhodium, or platinum palladium, right? But then again, when we see Atlas running around doing backflips and parkour, that $150,000 does sound just about right, if you got the money to blow on entertainment, of course. Because, to be honest, I still feel like most humanoid robots out there, including Cyber One and Boston Dynamics Atlas, are still lacking in a lot of ways. We could say in terms of the way they walk, still being very shaky and not super smooth like a real human. But if utility is what you're really after, Boston Dynamics does got you covered in that area as well. It will just only cost you around 500,000 US dollars for their stretch robot, who can of course be used for loading and unloading goods onto trucks, as well as stacking products on pallets in your warehouse. Now imagine a whole fleet of stretch robots, but to be honest, I think one or two would be enough. I mean, with $500,000, that's half a million dollars. You could probably buy a house. And a whole fleet in a warehouse full of robot employees is a little bit post-apocalyptic. Humanoid robots replacing an entire warehouse full of people? I think it would be a little bit lonely. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. The global humanoid robot market size was accounted at 1.62 billion US dollars in 2022, and it's said to be expected to reach around 28.66 billion by 2032. And if you divide 28.66 billion 
by 1.62 billion, which is the market size today, that's more than a 17x, 17 times the market size by 2032. When electric vehicles first became popular in the 2000s, they didn't come without people speaking up against them. Of course, here in the year 2023, we all know how that turned out. And so a lot of the negative feedback about electric vehicles was really just coming from other car manufacturers and salesmen who weren't making or selling electric vehicles at the time. Now, of course, every car manufacturer is getting into the electric EV car game. And so one of the biggest negative things people would say and I know because I was actually selling Volkswagens back in 2006. And one of the things I would say when someone would walk into the dealership asking which was a better choice, an electric Toyota Prius or a TDI turbo diesel Jetta? Well, I would always say, and of course, it's because I wanted to sell a Volkswagen. But so I would say, if you're thinking about the future and the environment, what do you think is going to happen to all the batteries in these electric cars in 30 to 40 years when they're all just sitting in a junkyard somewhere? And today, this is still very much and more so now an issue many car manufacturers deal with as they find more ways to reuse and recycle EV batteries. Okay, so what does this have to do with robots? Well, we're going to get to that because... Although these issues are very real, the fact is the electric EV car battery problem is still a better direction for the future by lowering global carbon emissions from gasoline-powered vehicles. So if the same were said about humanoid robots, female robots, well, the answer would be simple. These robots last forever and could easily be reused and recycled. So really, it isn't even a topic. But moreover, and a humanoid robot shouldn't be questioned. It's proven that robots improve our quality of life. And following the pandemic, I don't think anyone can question whether or not the entire world could use some improved quality of life. In addition to assisting people with disabilities, modern technologies, including robots and AI, contribute to the development of digital health, all while, of course, contributing to society. Robots save workers from performing dangerous tasks and so much more. In fact, the only real threat humanoid robots or artificial intelligent female love dolls pose would probably be towards women. And that right there is truly the post-apocalyptic scenario. Rather than the notion of robots surpassing humans, rather the human race no longer populating. Of course, because these robotic human-like female companions were perfect and artificially intelligent with giant boobs. So surely women would need to step up, be more assertive, or rather just more available. See what I did there? I really like that. Just be available.